religious fundamental differences between men and women. Beyond penises and, and woo-woos. I think you lady. I think that's the medical term. A woo-woo? You call it your woo-woo, Carolyn? No, you call it your snatch box. <laughs> I forget. Tastes just like it smells. That's the rule. That's the rule you gotta remember. That means it's poison. If it tastes like almonds, it's cyanide, right, or something? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so how's everybody doing? Everybody having fun? What's tomorrow? Sunday. Those of you who said Sunday are either married or single. Those of you who said Valentine's Day, you're getting a blowjob later tonight. <laughs> True question. <laughs> oh, man. So, are there couples here? Woo! 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 I only heard women. There's a lot of guys that were like... <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't make a big deal. <laughs> Checking their watches for now. Be kind of douchey to dump her for Sunday. I mean, Valentine's Day. <laughs> Do you remember a couple years ago they tried to pass that, like, Valentine's Day is for women? And the guys get steak and blowjob day. You remember? You remember steak and blowjob day? <laughs> nope. Never came to pass. <laughs> it was like the night before Valentine's Day, like a spirit, three spirits had visited me, and like the one was like, "Yeah, I'm from steak and blowjob future." Guess what? Ain't happening. <laughs> Nothing. Not at all. <laughs> Any ladies buy the red porn? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't happen either. <laughs> Fucking spirit. <laughs> Trick me. Turn the around. Uh, ah! Figured it out. Conundrum. <laughs> I'm looking for the Riddler mark to figure out, like, is this the bomb, Riddler? No, my act is, apparently. <laughs> there was a bomb threat. Where? Right, right by where you were standing. Some guy in a stupid outfit was throwing horrible jokes. Everyone left. That's always a comic's biggest fear, is that like, because you got the lights on, we can't see shit. You know, you give your act, I oh, hope they see you later, and then the house lights come up, there's like nobody there. <laughs> like, fuck, even your mom left. <laughs> oh, fucking bitch. <laughs> Tastes just like it smells. <laughs> the cake was poisoned. What was I talking about? Oh, relationships. Anybody in a band relationship? <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone ever have a bad relationship? <laughs> like, I was gonna beat your phone. <laughs> of course you have! Unless you're, everyone here has had a bad relationship. Unless you're one of those fucking people that marry the first person they ever had sex with. That's supposed to get a chuckle because that shit's ridiculous. <laughs> have you ever met these people? They're like, oh, I found her, she's my soul man. Oh, I waited so long. And then the girl's like, her vagina's like, <gasps> my first time. <laughs> Summer breeze. <laughs> uh, but it, <laughs> Cause you know there's people that the people they'll never know the joy of driving home, bawling your eyes out, listening to Since You've Been Gone at 2 30 a.m. after a bad breakup. <laughs> Like, did you like that? And the guy's like, oh my god, yeah, that was awesome. And she's like, 
you know, I'm the only woman that can do that. And the guy would be like, oh my god, really? She's like, yeah, other women, they have vaginas, but they're like the pockets on a blazer. It, it's like, it, it looks like you can put stuff in them, but there's no depth. <laughs> no depth at all. <laughs> Relationships myself. I had one relationship so bad, right? The girl gave me two books. She was like, These two books are going to save our relationship. She gave me A Thousand More Ways to Be Romantic and SM 101. Yeah, whoa. Thank you, Joey from Blossom. Whoa. SM, whoa. Right? But <laughs> that bitch was ugly. I'm just saying, Blossom? That's a side note. <laughs> not, not who said that. That would be hard. That'd be would that would that be horrible? If you're like, oh fuck you, you ugly bitch. <laughs> anyway, all with my dumb joke. <laughs> I met Blossom. She was horrible. <laughs> Fucking spirit. <laughs> but uh, what was I talking? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So she gave me right. She gave me these two books. She was like, S and M one on one and Thousand One Ways to Be Romantic. And it's like, how the fuck are you supposed to use that tandem? It's like, they don't even make songs for, like, the romantic masochists. It's not like you're ever going to turn on, like, a 92Q jam and hear, like, mm, yeah, girl, mm. you know, when you look up at me with your two black eyes <laughs> and a ball gag in your mouth and you whisper, <laughs> yeah, I know what time it is. <laughs> Safe words, banana. <laughs> Something like your romantic S like OBGYN would like have on or something. Like, oh, let me put this on. Yeah, girl, I'm a lick corn syrup out your ass crack. Mm, nipple clamps. <laughs> There's a lot of things that they try to pass off. There's some things that are just inherently bestial, right? And then there's other things that are romantic. And you can't cross the line by just changing the terms. Like titty fucking. Right? Titty fucking is straight titty fucking. You can't call it boob sex. Because <laughs> no matter how many fucking set of candles you like, this guy's dry humping your sternum. <laughs> There's no in between. It's no here or there, no this or that, no tit for tat. Oh, what I did there? <laughs> oh, I'm clever. Oh, I got some new jokes. Let me check some new jokes. Mm -hmm. This is. If you. In comedy, right, if you have an idea, you're supposed to write it down, right? So I write mine down, but sometimes I don't know what the fuck it means, like on the thing here. Like, one says, "'Tis better to have pubes in your teeth than teeth in your pubes." <laughs> <laughs> Is that, like a fucking fortune cookie or something? <laughs> no idea. Ah. Uh. <laughs> see what else, what other gems do we have in here? So, what year is it? 2010. What? 2010. Yeah, I know what year it is. The Blizz X. We just had Blizz X. Doesn't that sound cooler than like the Blizzard of 2010? No. Call it Blizz X. You could have like jewelry with like Blizz, Blizz X flavored condoms. I don't know what it would taste like, but I wouldn't want You ever try it? You ever, anyone here ever taste a flavored condom? Yes. I have. I have. Yes. That big bald guy was there too. <laughs> And that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> Let that marinate. But uh, I now hate the taste of artificial banana flavoring. <laughs> Why make the flavor kind of a taste like banana? Like you could just forget that it's a cock and be like, oh, a delicious banana. Delicious treat. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh well, I suck another man's dick. That's, that's the question I should have. Alright, let's move it on.